Okay, welcome back to the Android Alarm Clock tutorial. Um, let's look at our uh, to-do list. So last time we did all this stuff. So we did our alarm manager, intense, pending intent, and the calendar time. We haven't actually done this, but that will come later. Um, and we've uh, canceled the pending intent on our off button. Um, and we notice we still have not started or stopped the ringtone, but we'll be uh, doing ringtones today. So we have, today we're going to start the ringtone service when the alarm is supposed to go off. So if we remember from last time, um, in our alarm receiver, we uh, made sure that it worked. But all it does is log, like we are in the receiver, yay. Um, so now let's have it actually do something. We want um, an alarm to sound, some sound, some sort of music file to play when the alarm goes off, uh, as alarms should do. So first, um, what we should do, oh, oh, what, I remember, we have to put this in the manifest for the service to start, because when we get, we want some music to play, we call a service, but to, in order to play the service, we have to put it in our manifest. So, Andrew Nate, and we're going to call it ringtone playing service, um, because... That's what I like. Um, and of course, it's going to be red because um, because we haven't made the ringtone playing service yet. But of course, we haven't. Um, but we're going to do it right now. Um, so we're just going to go to this, make a new Java class, and we're going to call it ringtone playing service. Excellent. Um, so we will do that later. First, let's go to alarm receiver and let's start the service. Uh, well, we'll start the service later. First, let's just um, just do stuff to make sure it's an actual working service. So first, ooh, actually what we want to do is have it extend the server class, service class. And... We want to import that. Excellent. And now we just do Alt Enter again. Um, do we want to con make constructor. What is this? This is not what I was expecting. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> um. Well, this is a lot of parameters that I do not actually know what is going on. Um, oh, because I don't want provider service, I just want service. Yes, import class. Um, yes, I want the third one actually. There we go. <laughs> um, and not implement the methods. Yes, on bind. That's what I want. Okay, yeah. Yeah, to don't always pick the first one. Sometimes you want to pick the not first one. So on the unbind, um, returning null is fine. Uh, what we're going to do is... No, no, no. This is fine. The default. Um, and I don't see a way to uh, make the other methods that, that I was expecting... But, um, well, I, I guess we'll have to make it ourselves. So, we'll have to make our own class. It's basically the uh, on start command. It should, I, I don't know why it's not, like, automatically made for us, because, you know, it's, <laughs> um... Because it should be. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Um, what's why is it red? Is it because it's empty? Yes, missing return. And we want to return. What do we want to return? We want to return start not sticky, and that means um, if somehow our service stops, then it won't automatically restart. 
Um, and I think this is good enough for now. I'm going to make a log statement so that we know that something has gone on. So we'll just make a log so we can see it in our log monitor. Uh, what do we want to do? This one's fine. Um, in the service, start command. So just so we know we're here. All right, so this should be um, the bareback uh, class. So what do we have to do? Um, yes, so let's do this. Let's start the ringtone service uh, when the we get to the alarm receiver. So here we are with alarm receiver. So um, in order to do that, we first have to whoops, create an intent to the ringtone service. Um, and that's going to be just an intent, and we'll call this service intent, new intent, um, context, yes, and the ringtone playing service dot Java, no, class. So now we made the intent, and now we want to start the ringtone service context start service and that's this is the thing that we need our manifest for otherwise it won't run and here we are so um i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to start up the emulator and then i will show you that our service works so anyway um it takes a while for my emulator to go, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to start up again when it's actually fully uh, warmed up. Okay, so I am back. Um, so I am actually at the uh, Android developer um, page for the service. See? And because I knew the onStar command was not... Um, as it should be. So here is the example that should be, um, you know, a should the way it should be. So um, actually, what I'm going, so what I just realized is that <laughs> it should like, you know, what I'm just going to copy everything underneath the local service, and then we can look at it in our program. Because this is good. I'm just gonna copy. Excellent. It's just, just this is just from the Android, you know, developer site. Just a generic that. Um. So I know this one's wrong. So I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna copy and paste everything. All right. Let's take a look at this. Um, notification manager, we're going to be doing that later in another video, so we don't need that. Um, we do... I remember we used an on binder. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change, change my mind. Again, I'm going to keep this on bind because I like that one. I don't really know what this local binder is. Sorry, and we're going to do a notification later in another video, so we'll come back to this. And what is this? On binds already. Already. Ah, yes, it's cool. Here we are. Um, but these have a return on M binder. I don't know what that is. Where is that? I see. Um, so yeah, I don't want this. Um. That's fine, I delete that too. Um, and we don't need the notifications because we'll be doing that later. We'll, we'll definitely be having notifications. And so, um, the M destroy, um, I guess we'll have this. This is fine. We'll have a toast, but um, we'll just have it say on destroy called. Uh, and we will need to cancel the notification because 
Um, we'll be doing notifications later. Uh, on create, we do want an on create, but no, I don't think we need an on create. Not this now. We'll do our, that later. All right, so here is the sort of bareback for reals bareback method. So we have our uh, on bind, we have our on start command, and um, we have our on destroy. So <laughs> sorry that took a while. So um, just so we can get something done, I suppose, in this um, series, we'll first want to, um, I guess, put a sound file in for our service because we want to play sound, right? And so the first thing we want to do is just uh, go to your res, your um, this section, and we want to make a new folder to put um, our sound file. So just go to resource directory. Um, and we'll just call it raw. And here you go, raw files. Okay. Great. And let's see if it shows up on our Windows Explorer. It should. Raw. Yes, there you go. And there's nothing. Okay, whoops, sorry about that. Um, my recording software petered out. So we know that there's nothing in the raw file, so what we're going to do is add something in. Um, and I have a mp3 player, a uh, mp3 file of a uh, dove sound, so if we just play that. Um, <laughs> yeah, sounds like a dove. It's very short, seven seconds. So we put that into our raw um, folder. And, yep, it should show up here. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, start, make a very um, naive and probably not very smart um, way to play our file. We aren't going to um, actually have a way to stop it, but we're going to just have it start and play when we call this ringtone service. And we'll make it more sophisticated later. So, um, media, song, um, we have to create it. Is this how you do it? I feel like, no, it's equal to media player dot create. And is this, yes, this is it. Fine. Uh, context, context, come on. No, it's this, sorry. It's this, r dot raw, and then we have our dub. So let's whoops create an instance of the media player. So you created that one file and then we're going to just play it. No, we're gonna start it. There you are. Um so let's just start it. And we'll notice that um it won't we won't have a way to actually stop it or anything. It just plays when we set the alarm. Um, so it's not very sophisticated, but we'll be doing that in our next video. So let's quickly set it to 1220. It won't play right away because Android has this thing where it's an exact. See, you can't stop it, but it plays. So that's pretty good. Um, so in our next video, We'll be doing these green things of circle. One, we'll be able to stop the ringtone when we turn off the alarm. And that will take basically extra intents and various if else statements. So, um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you at our next video. Bye.